Keith K here. I am looking over a plate full of wheats. I went out today uh, and I was joined in the hunt uh, by somebody I had never hunted with before. And um, I, I had a... <laughs> oh, this, this is going to be crazy. Listen, a um, plate full of wheats should, should tell you a lot of things. When you're finding a lot of wheats, um, that's good. There's probably silver nearby. At the end of the video that I'm doing, you're going to see there was there was some silver nearby. So, uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the area. The area was no larger than a half of a football field. Um, th there's a lot more space, <laughs> uh, but we never we never were able to you know exceed that perimeter. Um, everything that was found was found very immediate to us. We just couldn't stop finding good signals. Fifteen weeks should tell you I find a lot of good signals. Um, at the end of the video, <laughs> oh geez, I, I can't hold off any longer. Let's get on with my video, okay? You're gonna love it. Stand by. Keith K here. Hey, it's Sunday morning, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day in Pittsburgh, and uh, second dig. <laughs> second dig. Uh, listen, let's go down and look at this SLQ. Um, pretty lady. She looks, uh, don't see a date there, but, um, hey, listen, you never know. Hey, it's a good find. I'm glad to have it. Um... <laughs> uh, uh, we need to clear this up a little bit. Uh, got, had to get up early this morning. We're on a uh, permission hunt down in the town of Monongahela. Hey, maybe we'll find some more. Stand by. Okay, Keith K here. This is a, you know, I'm on a good hunt today. And again, uh, I should have been doing live digs on some of my signals. I'm going to do a live dig right here. We'll see where we end up. So, stand by. It's a good signal. It's a 44, 45. It's about 5 inches, 6 inches done. Now, let me try to find it. Hold. Here it is. Down about seven inches. Ah, listen, it's only a rosy. But <laughs> I'm having a good day. Not sure exactly what uh, that date is, but we'll get that to you later. Um, I'm just happy to find silver. And we're in a place. Uh, <laughs> I, I, all I can tell you is Monongahela, PA. Thank you very much. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> people I don't even know how to how to talk about this because it was just one incredible day um, I went away from home uh, I met up with somebody uh, never hunted with the guy before <laughs> and I'll tell you why uh, I'll show you what look at all that 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 was my digs and believe me um, I dropped down on every 42, 43 that I could, could get. But those were my digs, and the prizes were the SLQ, <laughs> the Roosevelt's, and the Mercury Dime. Now, <laughs> get ready, because I, you know, I, I've been with some damn good hunters. I mean... But I, I've never seen a guy do what this guy did today. Watch this, people. <laughs> he doesn't even bother to put up his clad. Okay? Um, it was a pleasure being here today with him. Look at this. Let me try to try to do this. He doesn't like to clean off his coins, so they're not real good. But there are three Walking Liberty half dollars. 
there are 12 Mercury dimes. <laughs> there are six Roosevelt dimes. <laughs> there are two war nickels. There are two Washingtons and an SLQ. <laughs> uh, I wish he could go on camera. I, I, I'm just so happy for this guy. Um, he made me happy all day long <laughs> just by watching him dig him. Um, when he when he dug his third walker, I went crazy. <laughs> Nobody digs three walkers. Uh, as you can see, we're in a we're in a very good hunting area. Um, it's, it, it, I have to say, it's never been hit. There are 26 silver coins. So if you throw in my four coins, there's 30 silver coins between the two of us. I wish it was evenly split, but that's not the way it went down. An incredible hunt. Um, man, king this guy today. I mean, he could wear the crown proudly. Jesus. Stand by. Keith Gay here. I am home, and uh, this is the wrap-up show on an, an incredible hunt that I was on today. Um, I hunt with some very good detectorists. I mean, very good. But uh, I've never been on a hunt like I was today and seen what I saw today. Um, first of all, uh, we were definitely in a virgin area. I seriously doubt that there's ever been a detectorist there. Um, I don't know why, but uh, there just wasn't. Uh, we start with, all, with the good signals that we're getting, and, and I start pulling belt buckles and the usual amount of clad. There's two dollars and quarters, a dollar in dimes, 20 cents in nickels. And then we come to my silvers. Um, hey, listen. <laughs> Anytime you find uh, that those kinds of silvers, man, it's a great hunt. And four silvers, that's, that's a very good day for me. Very good. Uh, it's not a <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not a very good day for the other hunter, but uh, then again, um, it is what it is. Again, we're digging all the signals that were in the ground, and there's several items right there. Then I dug all the wheats, and then we dug all the Lincoln's memorials, what have you. But um, just to wrap this all up, um, in one word, it was incredible. 30 silvers. Uh, incredible. That's all we could say. And I um, hope to go back there. It was it was a, a good distance from my house. Um, and uh, I'll get back there before the, before the year's out, I hope. So, listen, thanks for watching my videos. I, I uh, <laughs> leave a comment. You should be able to comment on this one. Everybody who watches this should comment. This is incredible. Um, never has there been a day that I've been around where a guy pulls 26 silvers. Stand by.